Moving into work, which is the other form of energy transfer, there are essentially two formulas for work which are very closely related. Work is equal to the force times the distance over which the force is applied. That's one definition of work. But in fluid systems, you're more likely to see work expressed as the change in pressure times the change in volume. At times, you'll have constant pressure, and so work will simply be the constant pressure times the change in volume or something of that nature. But the really interesting thing to understand is that this PV work formula is very, very similar to the FD work formula. It's just expressed in three-dimensional terms. One definition of pressure is force per unit of area. And if you realize that volume is created when you have some surface area that is moved over a distance. So if we took the shaded area and moved that over a distance, we would be producing a volume there. And once you realize that, you can cancel out the A's here and what you're left with is work equals force times distance. And so FD work and PV work are of the same type of quantity. They're both measured in joules and they're just different ways of expressing it depending on whether you have a three-dimensional fluid system or whether you have a two-dimensional system over which the work is occurring. Also remember that work is a path function and that means that distance and not displacement is what matters. So you have to pay attention to the path over which this force is applied in order to figure out what kind of work is being exchanged between the system and its surroundings.